Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So happy to have you here as always. If you're new here, welcome. I like to talk all things handbags, fashion, and then sometimes beauty. I've also been incorporating vlogs um, every week or every other week, and I'm really enjoying that as well. So if you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick around. But today I wanted to film a video of my top five designer accessories. So my friend Lou here on YouTube, I'll link her channel below. She recently filmed one of these videos and I loved watching it. I found it so informative and I was really keen to know which were her top five items and it inspired me to do the same. So thank you Lou. So I'm really keen to show you guys which accessories I use the most and that is the key word here, which accessories I use most. Um, because I love all of my designer items. I don't actually have a huge collection, although I talk about it a lot and I do a lot of unboxings. I often sell bags that I find I'm not using. So I have quite a small collection, but I was trying to think of this as if someone was to take away my whole collection, which five items would I rep um, repurchase because I feel as though I would miss them in my day-to-day -day life. So if you are someone who is just starting out with your designer collection, um, and you're looking at which pieces you should purchase first, then I highly recommend any of these five. Um, and if you're someone who already has a collection but you're kind of on the hunt for something else, then I'm hoping that this, some of these pieces might inspire you to purchase them. So I'm just going to go through each one. I'm going to start from smallest to largest. And yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So the first item I wanted to show you is, of course, my Louis Vuitton 4 key holder. This is in the Damier Abin print. And I was looking for one of these because I watched a What's In My Va Bag video a few years ago. And one of the girls said that the reason she likes to use this is because it stops everything in her bag getting scratched. And I thought, you know what, that sounds like a really useful item. It looks really nice. And of course, this was when I was just starting out with designer items. So I didn't want to spend much money at all. But I just wanted the key things that I used every single day to be elevated. So like my car keys, I use them every single day and I felt as so a little item like this was not only useful but looked really cute as well. So I absolutely love this. Of course I use it every day. Um, I, If I had my time over I would probably look out for the monogram print. I'm not a huge fan of this print um, but I don't hate it. So I did think about um, maybe selling it on but the thought of my keys now just clinking around like this with just with my car keys um, I can't deal. Like, I feel like this just keeps it really compact and just stops all the noise as well. So, I really like this piece. If you are someone who, like I said, is just starting out your collection, I think this is a great piece to start with, along with like a wallet or something. And you should be able to find them quite affordable on either eBay or Depop. Or if you're in like the UK or Europe, I'm pretty sure Vinted is a really good place to have a look as well. So I really, really love this. And if it was lost or stolen, this is definitely a piece that I would be replacing. But like I said, I'd probably replace it with the monogram. The second item I want to talk about is my little Chanel coin purse. This is a vintage piece and I purchased it from eBay about oh, a couple of months ago now. I do have an unboxing on here on my channel, but I absolutely love this. Any kind of small SLG, like a card holder, or something like this I could not leave um, live without so I had my first ever designer purchase I'm pretty sure was the Gucci Marmont card holder I used that for years I then had a YSL card holder which I still have I love that one I had a little Saint Laurent wallet and then I came across this and each time I've purchased a new one I've sold the other one um, and this is one that I just use every single day and the reason why I prefer this over a card holder is because I can put coins in here there's two pockets one for my cards and one for any cash or coins and I know some people don't carry coins but they have come in handy whenever there's parking meters and I don't want to use my card um, yeah I just really like having that option so I absolutely love this piece and if for some reason this one went missing or was stolen I would definitely replace it with another small designer SLG so if you are someone who is just starting out definitely start with a designer card holder or a small coin purse like this. Now the third item is actually a pair of sunglasses. Of course I wear these every single day. I do live in Australia where it is sunny majority of the time so sunglasses are really important to protect our eyes and these uh, were my first ever designer sunglasses and I haven't felt the need to purchase another pair because I love them so much. So 
Um, this case is a little bit ratty now um, because I've used them so much, but they are a pair of Saint Laurent Betty sunglasses in the oval shape. Oh. And they're just in a really dark brown, um, which is really nice because I feel as though black might be a little too harsh for my complexion. So a dark brown is perfect. It has the very minimal Saint Laurent on the side. As you can see, anything minimal, I just love. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love these. They're very, very comfortable. Um, and like I said, I used to be someone who used to buy a new pair of sunnies all the time. They were kind of like my trend piece that I would... Yeah, I just had all different styles for different outfits. But ever since purchasing these, I have never looked at any other sunglasses again. So I highly recommend purchasing yourself a pair of designer sunglasses because you wear them every single day and they're a really useful accessory that just elevate your outfit. I was kind of thinking about all the items that I use every single day and they were the first items that I purchased when I started my designer collection. So if anything was to happen to these sunglasses, I would definitely be looking for this exact style again. Um, they're actually hard to come across. If I find any, I'll link them below. They must be a discontinued style, but I just feel as though not only do they suit my face shape, but they're very, very comfortable and they kind of go with every outfit. So I absolutely love these. Now the next item I think is going to surprise you, especially if you're someone who watches all of my other videos or follows me on Instagram because I don't really show this bag very often but it is for sure probably one of my most used and something that if someone was to get rid of my whole collection this is definitely a bag that I would repurchase pretty much first um, and it was my first ever designer handbag and that is the Gucci Soho Disco bag. So this bag is the ultimate workhorse. It fits everything you need. I have it stuffed right now. But when I was starting my um, designer collection, I knew that I really wanted to add a um, designer bag and I did my research. I knew that I wanted something with a soft leather because I find with a smaller bag, if it has a soft leather, you can kind of cram a little more in because it's a little more flexible. I also liked this camera bag style because I knew it would be able to fit sunglasses, my phone, um, pretty much everything that I would need day to day. And then I also really liked that this style had the tassel because I felt as though if I did want to dress it up um, and wear it out to dinner, I would be able to do that because of this detail. Now I do have an in-depth review of this bag on my channel so I'll make sure I link that below but guys this bag is for sure it has my heart. I think it is because it, it, it was my first ever designer handbag but not only that it's just so handy and when in doubt this is the bag I reach for. So if you are looking to purchase your first ever designer handbag do not look past the Gucci Soho Disco bag. They are such a classic and there's a reason for it. People love them. They're very, very functional. And yeah, I just can't say a bad word about this bag. Now, the fifth item I wanted to talk about, I actually haven't used yet. And I know you're probably thinking, well, why is it featured in this video? And it's because I know for a fact that I will use this item um, as much as these other ones and more so than any of my other handbags or anything else in my collection. So a little bit of a backstory. This here is my Ted Baker toiletry bag. I absolutely love it. I have had it for years. I kind of started off with Ted Baker and Coach and Michael Kors before I went down the um, luxury route, but I absolutely love this and it sits on my vanity with all of my makeup products in there and some of my skincare, just all of like my most used stuff I keep in here. So I use this every single day, but my friend here on YouTube, Lou, I'll link her channel below. I've mentioned her a thousand times before. Her and I both love to buy from Japanese sellers on eBay. We love buying designer items from there and we talk about it pretty much every day. And she purchased herself a Louis Vuitton toiletry bag and she basically raved about it to me, said it was like the best thing that she's bought. She uses it every day. It's such a good size. And I said to her that I absolutely love the sound of it and it's definitely on my wish list. When I hit 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube, she was kind enough to purchase me one she saw one pop up at a really great price and she said she just thought of me and had to buy it. And she received it, she polished it up, cleaned it up for me and sent it to me. 
And guys, I I feel like it's Christmas. I can't even put into words how grateful I am um, for her and I have told her a thousand times. But it arrived yesterday and guys, I really wanted to include it in this video because I know that this is going to be something. I'm going to swap, put everything that's in here into here and this is going to be something that I use every single day. The reason why I was so pleasantly surprised by this is because it was bigger than I imagined and it is a very similar size to my current toiletry bag. So that's why I am so confident um, in saying that I will be using this every single day and it will be yeah one of my top five used designer items. So thank you so much Lou. I absolutely love it. I cannot believe that I own this. And I am just so excited to have this sitting on my vanity. It's going to look so nice. I'm so excited to use it every single day. And I'm really excited to take it on holidays as well. So I cannot wait to start using this. And if you're interested in adding one of these to your current collection, keep your eye out because I do plan to film a video on this, on everything that fits inside and also a little bit of a, of a review. But I wanted to use it for a couple of weeks first just so I can kind of do justice in that video. But if you did want to watch one, I'm pretty sure Lou has filmed one on her toiletry bag so if she has I think from memory I'll link that below as well so guys they are my top five designer items and the ones that I use most pretty much every single day and if you purchase any of these or add them to your collection I can assure you you will be satisfied I absolutely love every single one as you can see I have a bit of a color scheme going just blacks and browns if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload every week sometimes twice a week so yeah make sure you stick around for those and i will catch you in my next video bye guys Bye.